Hello all, so in this video, we will be discussing one instruction of 8085 processor and instruction is XTHL. So it is of implied ad ad addressing mode, so it just have mnemonic XTHL. Now what is the operation? What does it do? So sim in simple words, we can say we can have exchange of what HL register pair that is well, uh, the data of HL will be exchanged okay with top of stack it means that whatever data is at the top of the stack that is the that is at the address pointed by the stack pointer is exchanged with the HL register okay the uh, and moreover the, the address which is specified that is specified by stack pointer initially that uh, data at that address will move to register L whereas data at SP plus 1 that is the address plus 1 will move to register H since this is higher order and this is lower order okay in our pair HL register pair so the data as at location SP plus 1 will be go to H and data from SP that is top of the stack currently will go to L and most important thing over here is that point to be noted is that contents of stack pointer register are not altered means remains unaltered okay not changed or altered so this is very much important that after the execution of this instruction whatever sp okay the, the whatever the data the, whatever is the address at which the stack pointer is pointing stack pointer register have that data okay that address it remains as it is okay so the pointers address do not change okay and as i said there is an exchange of data so the reverse process is also also takes place so how this reverse process work so first of all please note that it is just one byte instruction okay and number of machine cycles so we will be discussing in a minute number of machine cycles and which are they but before that let us discuss a very important point that what this instruction first do first it copies the me I, I mean to say read the top of the stack that is pop okay top of stack first stage what at first step it will read the top of the stack and store it at store it in temporary registers and as we all know we have two temporary registers w and z okay in microprocessor and then this w and z then and then what happened then HL data will move towards the SP and SP plus one. Okay, L data will move to a SP location and H data will move to SP plus one. And then from this W and Z, okay, the data is copied into HL. So the whole exchange is now complete. Okay, so some third party is needed in, in order to exchange the data, right? Over here, W and Z, correct. So now let's talk about number of machine cycles. So obviously first will be opcode fetch. Okay, then we have to read the top of the stack. So two times memory read and then again write also. So memory write. This memory write is also to the for the stack pointer only since HL register parent W and Z are in, inside the microprocessor only. So no memory read or memory write cycle is needed. So all this machine cycles that is read and write cycles are all for the stack pointers for this for read purpose from the stack and this to write the data to the stack and number of t states from this we can calculate so as you can see opcode fetch have four t states then all other have three so you can make the total right these are the number of t states and which are 16 in number of machine cycles you can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 is the number of machine cycles correct now 
In next video, we will be plotting the timing diagram of this HTHL instruction.